So sometimes you're perusing the cheese case at your local Whole Foods, as you do. And look, I have bougie tastes in cheese. Yes, I can go to town on a grilled cheese with plain old Land O'Lakes American. And I can absolutely house a brick of sharp cheddar. I'm not a monster, for God's sake. I do sometimes hanker for a hunk of cheese. But sometimes, I like to treat myself to something nice. So since I'm already there, at Whole Foods, at the cheese case, buying a hunk of raclette, if you know, you know, rubbing elbows with the suburban bourgeoisie, which I suppose would include me if I didn't live like an absolute trash goblin half the time, you know, I might as well get a little something extra. So I bought this little wedge of Humboldt Fog. And you get this sandwich first, raclette later. Humboldt Fog is an inventive goat cheese that I've had a few times in the past. And every once in a while it just gets stuck in my head and I have to buy it again. It's made by Cypress Grove, a chevre maker in Humboldt County, California. And it's got a number of layers that change the flavor and texture of the cheese throughout. From the stronger, almost blue cheese-like layer near the mold rind of the surface, through the cakey, creamy and slightly sour paste to the signature bluish line of vegetable ash down the center of the cheese. They say that this cheese came to its creator in a dream, and I gotta be honest, it sometimes visits mine as well. What to put in a sandwich with the cheese, though? It goes well with something sweet, so I might as well buy a jar of fig jam while I'm there at the store. And I'd like to say that I was thinking of how well Hamon Serrano goes with fig jam and similar fruit paste when I bought this package of ham. But if I'm telling the absolute truth, when I see Serrano, I buy Serrano. It's as simple as that. The sandwich needed greenery, though. And I went looking for arugula. Whole Foods was out of arugula. Let me repeat that because this is not a drill. Whole Foods was out of arugula. I must have missed the alarum, the weeping, the gnashing of teeth, and the rending of garments that surely accompanied such a revelation. However, this spring mix package and its chaotic admixture of more lettuce varieties than I really care to relate would make a suitable replacement, especially with a drizzle of thick sweet balsamic glaze. I combined these ingredients on some bread I already had at home. Pane Torano a two-pound round Italian loaf with a chewy, substantial texture that toasts up nicely, especially drizzled with a little extra virgin olive oil. Then, as my friend Sandwich Dad often says, cut diagonally and reveal. The cross-section is a butte, proportioned nicely, the pinkish red of the ham, the white of the cheese, and the green of the spring mix, bringing to mind the tricolore of the Italian flag. And what can I say? This, of course, was terrific. The sweetness of the figs, an ideal foil for the strong and salty funk of the Hamon Serrano. Manchego is a common cheese pairing for Serrano, but the Humboldt fog works at least as well, I think. Some of its subtleties lost, but the basic contrast between the stronger, funkier cream line and the softer, chevre-like paste layer were amplified by its interplay with the ham and the jam. In this company, the slight bitterness and crunch of the lettuce is essential. And my one misstep, I think, was not to dress it with a vinaigrette rather than the balsamic drizzle. The sandwich would have benefited from more acidity. But did I eat this entire gigantic sandwich for lunch? Damn right I did. <laughs>